Hey you guys, it's Anne Marie. Here's our archway. I can't do the good jump today. <clears throat> I wanted to share with you a series of events that just occurred. And the obvious lesson. Sometimes things are obvious to us, but we kind of forget the purpose of the lesson, <laughs> even though it's obvious. So today I had an amazing early lunch with um, somebody that I worked with in this last warming center. And um, we were talking about the next season coming up and her wanting to bring me aboard for our department. So we had that great great long lunch and I'm glad to connect with someone else who was uh, on the same spiritual frequency as me. So I decided to go home, take a nappy nap and then go to the park, which we're here and spend a couple hours there because then I'm going to go get some Reiki done. And so I had this all planned out. So I figure if I left at two, I'd be there at 2.15. It doesn't take too long, even though it's on the other side of town. Well, when I left the house, um, I almost got hit by a car, and I don't have a horn, so. Um, and then, don't get um, distracted, Amber, that was a, I think a dragonfly. And so I go to get on the freeway, and as soon as I get on the freeway, um, it's, it, it stands still. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? It's, you know, Friday clock, Friday clock, Friday um, at 2 o'clock, it's usually traffic doesn't start getting busy till around 3, 3.30. So, then my citizens app popped up and there was a car accident. All kinds of stuff just happened to be going on. So, it took me a while, a while to even get to an exit. Because you have to go through downtown to get to the other side of town, to the interchange. And all the times there was um, an ambulance and two, excuse me, police trucks um, and so every time it was hard for them to get by because of all the traffic. And so, and every time people got over, as soon as the emergency vehicles are passed, they're always trying to rush to get over, uh, back over and merge and all that. Well, anyway, so I finally get off. I said, I'll just take this one road and go all the way down, cut over, you know. And so I get on that road and there's a series of four or five lights all not too far apart because it's a community college, right, area. At every light, there was this car that would wait halfway through the green light and just sit there at the red light. So we're all just sitting there. And of course, I don't need to honk because everybody else is honking. And again, I don't have a horn. And I'm sitting there like, I'm grateful that these last couple of years has really taught me to recognize the difference between spirit saying, don't go somewhere, and this is part of the game should you choose this next challenge? And of course I was like, huh, with these little things happening, I was like, okay, this is the challenge. So even though I passed this level, this is like bonus points, right? And so Spirit was like, this is bonus points for your anger management and your different skills you've learned <laughs> and how you can manage your frustrations. Because I could feel the energy when I was on the standstill of the freeway. People were frustrated because it was Friday. A lot of them got paid. They're ready to get home. And there was no, like, moving around in sight, right? And so I just wanted to be out of the car. I just wanted to get a few hours out here, you know. And so I was like, mission accomplished. I mean, mission accepted, right? Challenge accepted, Spirit, for the bonus points, right? So at every light, this person in this car just stayed at the green light halfway through. And so it took a lot longer to get through. So we finally get all the way down. I go cut down some other streets so I could stop and get gas because while I was on the freeway, my gas light came on, which if you ever had a Honda, you can pretty much drive to another state <laughs> when your gas light comes on. I mean, you can go pretty far, but I wanted to put gas in Ravenhawk. So I go to the gas station and a couple of the pumps are shut down. So I have to drive around for where I waited. So I finally get a spot, right? And I go up to the door, and there's a small little sign that says the systems are down, so they're closed till further notice. And so, like, I thought I already passed this test on the freeway, and going up the main road, <coughs> excuse me, 
you know, I didn't think this was going to continue, right? It continued. And so I was like, fuck. So I went to this other gas station up the street. And I'll be damned. When I when I go in, um, no one was at the front. There's another guy waiting and someone, they've made one in the bathroom or something. But So she's helping him. And all of a sudden, I look out the window. And there's this um, uh, individual, a female. Um, well, she was trans, and so, which doesn't matter, but I just went, her walk was fierce. Her walk was fierce, and she was just walking in, and she was the most friendliest, kindest, fun-loving person I've ever encountered at a convenience store. So, thank you to UDF, I think, uh, on, um, Indian Old Avenue here in Columbus, Ohio. Ash, you changed my whole feeling. I mean, I was like already, you know, playing different music in the car. I was trying to enjoy the ride, you know, and I felt better or whatever. And so her engagement with me really gave me, I was like, okay, this is good. We can do this. So that's what we're looking at here. There was a whole video about, but there was like at least 15 roadblocks, at least 15 roadblocks trying to prevent me. And we we know we always persevere no matter what situation it is because spirit was testing first of all my capabilities of managing my emotions when I'm hot and I can't get out of a situation like you know, I could abandon my car and start walking that wouldn't even help and also to see if I understand the lesson in it that even when things are uncomfortable for me that I still need to use the skills I have. That was really what I was going to say, but I lost my train of thought because I thought I saw something cool. But <laughs> And so I got my bonus points today. Uh, so. so what do you do in the times when your patience is tested? What are the coping skills that you use um, when you're in a confined space? I listen to some of my favorite music and... Music that brought good nostalgia back to me um, at a time in my life. So, anyway, I feel so good to be out that fucking car. It is um, almost four o'clock. So, um, and I got here maybe 15 minutes ago. So, a 15 minute drive took me uh, over an hour and a half. So, there was something I was supposed to learn in that car ride versus focusing on the heat. Um, and just, you know, everyone was just so pissy, you know, everyone was so pissy, no matter where you were driving, everyone was frustrated, you could tell, you know, and so seeing that woman at UDF just be so kind and nice and coming in, hey baby, hey girl, hey, that you know, just be real nice and having amazing customer service really um, reminded me that there are good people and not to focus on, which I already know there is, but to focus on the beauty in life. And not the little bumps that are actually tests from spirit for me to see, you know, if I've learned some stuff. So, I hope you're healthy and happy, you guys, and full of joy. May you love and be loved, heal. Don't harm.